Hello everybody. We have started with the design of slab bridges and which we shall continue today also. First of all, let me tell you that for design of bridges, we have taken a very simple one that slab bridge and which will be considered here almost like a beam and we shall see this particular one here that whether we shall provide that CR or not. This is lecture number 12 of half an hour module. So, let us start with that whatever we have discussed that let us start. Let me just give you one, one important part that is the one that you can say that effective width. And the next one, that one we shall get that is impact factor. We have discussed that one and we have started one problem, a very simple problem because our objective is that if we can understand the basic philosophy of design, how to start, then you can do any, any problem you can solve on your own. Here, whenever we have talked that one you say effective depth, we have discussed, we have taken a very simple problem of say 5.5 meter span and then we are getting here the slab, the support here this side. I do not want to put that one, that means if you see this one here that we can see the cross section which will come like this and where you are having certain bearing. So, we have to provide this section D. What we have decided that we have decided span by depth. And we have considered this one 12. You can find out in RCC IS 456, where we know for simply supported beam, beam or slab where we get span by depth equal to 20. This one we considered from the loading point of view other. So, that is why you have taken span by depth a little less so that we can accommodate that depth. Nowadays of course, we go little higher also sometimes we go 14 also like that we go. But what I mean to say that I shall show you that why we are interested for that little higher depth that one that I shall show you that because that your reinforcement that one will come less, but concrete that one may come more, but reinforcement will come less. That is the another objective here. This 20 again further modified with compression steel, the tension steel like that. There are so many other parameters with that. If you go back to that IS456, you can find out that. This is the basis I can say, but this is a good start with this 12. And one can say argue that one it is a little bit conservative side that one. But what I mean to say here instead of going for say 80 millimeter per meter run or say um, sometimes you find out this one say 50 millimeter to say maybe say I can go up to say 150 millimeter per meter run 
that means meter span you can say. This is one another way generally they consider here that means it can be in the lower side also this can be on the higher side of 150 millimeter that we can say that because so per meter run you can find out here that we can consider. That means um, uh, if you consider 5 meter span it can be say 250 millimeter and 5 meter span it can be say your say 750 millimeter quite high. But what I mean to say this particular range find out on the basis of that we can find out if you solve problem and then accordingly you can get your idea um, that how it comes. But anyway uh, that is not the thing that let us see that how far we have gone there and we took this one. 5.5 meter, 7500 millimeter that we have got it from the uh, carriageway and then we are getting say 1000 millimeter on either side footpath. Actually we shall see that we shall give problems on um, 1005 millimeter footpath, then crash barrier like that we can give and we are in quote reduce the we are in quote that in this from 100 millimeter to say 65 minutes also that we have taken the load of say IRC 70 year load. So, you can check that one whether with the IRC class A loading how it is coming. Concrete gate we are getting M25. Now, we would like to reduce the depth. So, we can go for say M30. So, there are many more actually your options or your say flexibility how you can take care your design. And I have told this particular one here because this is the first problem you are solving. So, obviously that we would like to be in the conservative side. One way we can start actually we can take certain value then again we shall rerun the whole thing that is another way of thinking. But here we shall consider that. So, here we have told that per console 460 millimeter we have got it bearing length we have taken 400 millimeter and effective span here we are getting 5.5 meter plus 0.4 half of either side and which is coming as 5.9 meter that which we have already discussed that particular one. And also we have got these values that q slab q the deck part 0.46 in 24 per square meter obviously and we are in quote that one you can get wc that particular one 2.2 and q dl that one we can get it say 11.04 in plus 2.2 that is so total we are getting summation of that 13.24 and on the basis of that you can get that you would say dead load bending moment at the mid span you can find out which is coming here 557.61 on kilo Newton meter per meter width of slab. That means what we can do it here whatever we have discussed our objective is there we shall take we are having this one here the impression the impression of the track only one track you can consider here and this one we are looking from this side so, this is the one track that we have this one we have the track and that one will disperse and which will come here up to this. First part we shall have due to wearing coat this person and second part here. There is one I have told last time also that here how far shall we go. That one very interesting thing and we shall say that particular one we can go at the bottom also we can go up to the effective depth that is because the we can go up to the tension reinforcement that also we can think of it that way we can find out here. So, coming to this one here we are getting this bending moment that we have got it. Similarly, we can find out the shear force very simple that half of that will come because shear force will come half of that 
and which is coming as 39.058 kilo newton per meter width of cell. That means, we can solve that particular one here for for the dead load this particular one we can do it here that is very simple that we can take it. The next question is coming as I have told you here next question is coming for the we are in quote and that you would say that what will be the effective depth. So, that means we have to find out the effective depth or effective width it will come like this. which we have discussed in the last class also, it will come like that and that you have to find out. This is your support. So, parallel to this support we have to find out and then longitudinal. So, we shall tell that one say here that is so why we are calling actually effective width. and effective length. So, effective width and your effective length. Length means along this, along the span direction and effective width means parallel to the support. So, these two we have to do it. Alternatively, if you are very much conservative, we are very cautious what we can do very simple way we can do it just simply we can take this one only that we do not want to go any dispersion. So, then obviously, the stress will be more that one you can consider here. So, this particular one will be very uh, that one particular one we can do it though that if you really consider the design from the design point of view if you really see what we can do. So, this is how much 840. This is how much 4570. And how much is here that load? 350 kilo Newton in each track. So, just to give you idea just let us find out 350 by 0 0.84 divided by 4 5 divided by 0 0.84 divided by 4.57 which is coming as 91.17 if I say Q live load 91.17 kilo Newton per meter square. So, this is the one we are getting here this that particular one that much actually we are getting here that particular one if you really consider that we have just taken that impression. So, as you can note down this is that how much we are getting this particular year and then we would like to find out due to dispersion how much it comes that is the one how much actually it comes down that what curve one you can find out. So, that means, if you really do it this way then maybe you are quite conservative and then the slab will know that your bridge will never be a economic one though we want actually safety one, but at the same time you have to see from the mechanics point of view whether uh, we can make it economic also safety obviously, the first priority no doubt about it but at the same time we have to see that one that unnecessarily we are uh, becoming too much cautious and we are spending lot of money. Because as you know that bridge you can see that particular one that culvert like that a small bridge like that say minor bridge major bridge like that almost every kilometer of the road at least you will get certain kind of actually concrete road work 
which uh, the other culvert something like that even say 3 meter 4 meter like that it happens like that almost every kilometer in that way it may happen. So, coming to this one here whatever we have discussed this is the 14570 into 840 which we have got it from the IRC 6 this code thickness of wire in code 100. So, first level of dispersion this is the one 0.84 into 2 both sides this one and length wise this much we are getting that is the one first one. Next one we are having width of deck slab because we have taken that 2 into uh, assuming that case barrier is within 1 meter. So, we can say B equal to the 7.5 meter is the uh, carriageway and 2 into 1 so 9.5. So, B by L 9.5 by 5.9 1.61. So, alpha you can get it here 2.88 2 2.92 minus 2.88 by 0 0.1. So, I have taken that from the table and from the table you can find out alpha which is coming as 2.884. So, alpha for this B by L you can get it here 2.884 that you can find out. The effective width of load parallel. So, that means one will be that effective width another one as I have told you effective length this is most important one effective width another one we have told you that is called actually effective length. So, in this case which we have discussed actually B effective equal to alpha in x 1 minus x by L plus B. So, B is parallel to this one. So, 0.84 plus 2 into 0.1 that is the 1 point that means at the top of concrete. So, we have we are actually the vehicle is over the wearing coat. So, from wearing coat we are coming down to the top of concrete which will be 100 millimeter in this case, um, um, but the thing is that again 100 millimeter is quite high you can take it 65 millimeter nowadays actually they make it because it is a certain kind of regular process at a certain interval maybe you have to actually wearing that coat. So, that as you understand that wearing coat what does it mean actually here that you are giving coating so that uh, your main structure will not have that much of a problem or that much of deterioration. So, L equal to effective span 5.9, X equal to 5.9 because um, we are considering this one for the bending moment. So, effective width that particular one will be for the bending moment another one for the shear force. Now, why what is the objective let us see this one these two things let us consider here. Mm, what we are doing basically if this is your beam. So, since bending moment will be maximum at the middle. So, we are considering this one the load equally spaced. So, this so this is the one we can consider that is why if this is your L then x will be equal to L by 2. So, this is the one x this is for bending moment. So, we can take it here L x B that we can find out which is equal to 1.04 that we can uh, take it here whatever we have got it already we have done it. So, B effective equal to alpha into 1 minus x by L plus B. So, 2.884 already we have got that particular one from the table which we have shown that particular one here just to give you idea this particular one we have got that alpha and then x 2.95 which is at the middle which already we have got it at the middle and 1 minus x by L. So, this is the 1 2.5 by 5 so plus B 1.04 that parallel to the support of that particular width. So, which is coming as 5.294 that means the dispersion will come this much that if you see this one here I am looking this problem this is the plan of the bridge this is support this is also another support. Now, you are looking from this side let us say I mean to say A A view A A. 
So, I can draw and we are having footpath certain gap the loading then another loading will be there like this. What we shall do? So, we can find out for this one whatever we have got it this is actually that 5.294. So, 5.294 meter this particular one. So, finally, we shall have the overlapping and then we shall have to find out that total this length and that length will have the load 350 kilo newton and 350 kilo newton. This load will be shared. So, compared to that one earlier whatever we have told you that one say 840. So, it will go as high as this particular one here that we have to find out. So, far we have found for one for one track we have found. So, now there is a for both of them we have to find out how much that means we shall get it here. So, we shall get the center to center distance and then we shall get this side also, then we shall get this side also. That means, we shall have three parts. So, left part of dispersion obviously, we want left part we mean to say this one from this side to this side left part, it can go beyond the Mm, that you would say width of the bridge that is also possible beyond the width of the bridge that is possible. So, center of left track from the left end of bridge left side 1 that is the footpath 1.2 that is the one from the curve the distance of the wheel or track outer side plus center line for 0.84 by 2 that 0.84 the track width so, which is coming as 2.62. But the half of the effective width of dispersion because 5.294 is the dispersion for one track. So, 5.294 by 2 that we are getting here 2.647 meter which is greater than 2.62 meter. That means, I can go maximum 2.62 because I cannot go with some imaginary certain width. So, that part comes. So, therefore, the left part of dispersion will be extended up to 2.62. We cannot go though we know that it is 6.647 but we shall not be able to go. That means, here this one is coming up to this. We can go though it looks like it is possible to go out, but only we can go up to this. This is the one left part of this person as per this figure you can say. So, left part of this person we have got it and that was going on here. Similarly, we have to check for the right part of this person also. So, this is the one center of right wheel from the left end of the bridge. So, how much is this one? So, how much is this one that we have to find out which is coming as here 4.68 meter. How we are getting that 4.68 meter? 1 meter footpath, 1.2 meter that car wheel, then plus 2.9 because the thing is that as per that codal provision from this end to this end that is 2.9 meter, from this end to this end that is 2.9 meter. So, I can write down here this one is 2.9 meter. So, minus 0 0.84 by 2. So, I am going out to the outer end again minus point so which is coming 4.68 meter. So, this is the one we can so center of track from the right end of the bridge. So, let us find out this one from this end how much will be from this end then 
though it is not proportional. So, this end here we are getting 4.82 because as we know this particular one here the total is uh, we can get 9.5 meter. So, 9.5 minus 4.68. equal to 4.82 meter. So, the half of the effective width of this person is 2.647 then again here. Therefore, right part because 2.647 and this is 4.82 that means this value is less than this value that means quite far away that right hand side. So, you can say that it will go up to the full extent because previously I could go only up to 2.62 but here I can go up to 2.647 meter that means here I can go here that particular one here that we can find out here. So, that is the one we are getting it here that particular one we can do it. Coming to the next one, so effective width for IRC 70 are loading for vehicle load we have actually three parts one is the left part of the left track, right part of the right track and in between center to center of the track. These are the three parts and we have found also that extent of that the left part of this person is extended up to 2.62 meter from the center of left wheel. The center to center distance of wheels 2.06 meter because 2.9 is the outer to outer of the track minus 2 into 0.84 by 2, 2.06 meter the right part of this person is extended up to 2.6 because I can go up to the full extent no problem. So, which is coming 2.64. So, that means 2.62 plus 2.06 plus 2.647. So, 7.327, 7.327 that per quarter one you can that means I can say that truly speaking this 2.9 meter that is dispersed to that one 7.327 meter. So, you can see this one here. So, I am getting here 7.327. So, 2.9 meter that outer to outer track that is 2.9 which is going to 7.327 meter that way. So, that means here which is quite high that what we can consider here. Now, the effective length of dispersion for live load bending moment that will be effective length of dispersion that means 4.57 is the track length plus 2 into 0.46 that is the depth 2 into 0.21 that is the whirling coat which is coming as 5.69 meter. So, I can say the total impression considering the two tracks which is coming as here this is 5.69 meter and the previous one I have got is 7.327. So, 7.327 we have got it here that particular one we can find out 7.327 meter into 5.69 meter. So, this is the one uh, we have got it. So, coming to this one here just to make it. So, we are having two tracks so three fifty kilo Newton. So, let us take the both, both of them just to make and get an idea. So, I can say here 700 Q D L without any dispersion. So, we can find out 700 divided by 2.9 divided by 4.57 which is coming as here 52.818. Earlier we have got it here Q D L 
350 by 0.84 into 4.57. So, we can say 350 by 0.84 4.57 which is coming as 91.91.17 kilo Newton per meter square. Now, if you really see now this total how much we have got it here this side I have got it 7.5 3 to 7 meter and this side I have got it 5.69. So, we can write down here 700 by 7.327 into 5.69 that one it comes as 700 by 7.327 divided by 5.69. So, you can say this one as 16.79 kilo Newton per meter square. So, you can imagine that how much we are getting it here. So, from 91.17 52.818 without any Mm, this person just consider two track and then if you go for discuss 16. So, that means you can imagine from there how much will be the how economic it will be this particular one. So, that is one important one only thing we can say that uh, we could it could be little bit more that we, you can check it that if we come up to the effective depth I, will, I shall not go to the full extent, but I shall go to the effective depth. So, let us conclude this one with this particular one then we shall go to your say um, bending moment that we shall find out and then we shall check that whether the section we have taken that is alright or not. Thank you very much.